Hello guys, I wish to take you through a simple crash attendance uh, demo on how you can come up with that one using Microsoft Access. Later on, I will be doing an advanced crash attendance registration system from scratch. But this one is just a simple one and uh, also a blueprint of the one that I will be coming up with. Therefore, this is our main, uh, this is our main screen. This is our main screen here. Therefore, what happens here? Uh, this is our main screen. We have the courses here. We have the departments. We have the lecturers. We also have the students part here. If I scroll up here, we have also the screen, the student screen capture. Therefore. The system is just simple and uh, basically you start by capturing the courses therefore you need to have the course ID this one therefore you can see you can capture a new course here for example I have captured so far 11 therefore you can see I have captured several and also you can hit on add new here to add new that is number 12 then once you capture the courses here uh, you can be in a position to then cross your uh, your program here. That is your form. Therefore, you have lesson attendance management system. Confirm exit. Yes. Then, on the other hand, after you capture the courses, you can capture the departments using this window here. Therefore, this window can be used to capture the departments. Like, for example, you have the department ID, which is automatically assigned by the system. Then we have the department and then the, the course unit uh, that falls under which department. Therefore, if I go to next, you'll see that uh, this is a medicine course following, uh, following on department of medicine. Then we have education. This is an education course following the education department. That we engineering course. Therefore, you can assign them as you wish. Then on the other hand, you still can cross this one. And then you can confirm exit. Then after capturing courses and departments, you can now capture the tutors or the lecturers. Therefore, this is the capture lecturers module. And you will notice that um, the lecturer ID uh, for the system is automatically assigned. Like now here, this one is assigned. Then you can choose the, the, the course, the lecturer uh, lectures or teachers here therefore course taught then we have to mark whether the lecturer attends that see that uh, class that day present or absent then time in uh, for the lecture or for the lesson time out and the date then there are some notes here that can be captured that is comments then the system automatically says tutor attend the lesson Therefore, if we go to the next guy here, this guy, Don Googie here, did not attend the lesson. And therefore, tutor did not attend the lesson. These are just comments automatically captured by our system. Therefore, after doing that, you can just exit. Then, after now capturing the courses, departments, and the tutors, you can also capture the students. Therefore, this is the student capture module where, for example, I have not captured any student. We can just capture one here if I can have Paris I can have Paris Mudoni Mwangi captured there then semester let's say semester 1.2 then the year is 2021 20, and you'll notice that if you key in 2020 here the system will not work it will just say that this is prohibited then if i assign something like 2023 see that one okay that one is a capture let's just talk about 2024 that way you see now that still that one exit exceeds our expectations then from there we can just choose the course let's say this person is taking medicine under which department department of medicine then let's say 3 p.m let's say 3 p.m then the lecture will end at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. that way then the date the date here we can just have our 10 
stroke 3 stroke 2021 then she attended the lesson this module can be used by the lecturer then you can also capture the student picture but this one is uh, as, uh, an assumption that the student details were fed by the administration therefore you can just expect that the student has been captured here therefore the student is captured and therefore uh, when our student is captured somewhere like here then you can just refresh the database and then cross therefore you can just cross that one then after doing that one uh, you would expect that um, uh, when you are maneuvering your system using this other module here your work now becomes easier therefore that's how you can really come up with a, a simple class attendance registration system using access remember ladies and gentlemen I will be doing a comprehensive uh, class attendance registration system using access and VBA in my next session therefore keep in touch then on the other hand before uh, we quit you can just go through the tables you can just go to design view and then look at uh, our tables therefore our course table there has the following fields of which this is auto number and when you come down here you see the format that i have used cs001 that means when now you run this table uh, this is how the auto number comes cs00 it now takes two values as you add more courses then you can also look at the department therefore the department looks like this the department id is auto number and the primary key and down here i have used this format depth 001 so that when i run this is how it comes out as for department 002 therefore if you write 0003 times then you expect here to be 001 002 and uh, that way then we also have the students table this is the student table ladies and gentlemen it has the data types as you can see we have the student id here signed automatically then we have the the name semester year therefore for the year my, my point of interest is here when you go to the year you just go down here and look at how i have assigned the that's how i have assigned this validation rule that year equals to that is equals to year date that is to, to today then validation for the year the year should be equal to today and rest or equal to today plus two that is 2023 therefore the student must be uh, entered or must be uh, registered 2021 not 2020 and the student cannot be re be registered in a semester more than 2023 therefore that's how that one is done on the other hand uh, just mark that the the, the that is the the date and uh, time you use the date and time then down here you use you change the format then for the tutor for the tutor this is what we have uh, exactly just like that of a student only that the photo here is an attachment to make it easier for capturing remember ladies and gentlemen to visit my website the url is just below this video you can be in a position to download more of my stuff as I upload them there don't forget to keep in touch checking whether I have done uh, the full as a student attendance that is class attendance uh, capture where I will do it using access and VBA that one will be of great help therefore on the other hand if now I just cross this one here if I just now cross all this, uh, I come in a, I'm in a position to set that this is my main form. And whenever the system now launches, it goes to this part here. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. Also, uh, if possible, you can donate to make sure that these free sessions go even an extra mile. Thank you very much.